Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi the Leo, and today I am not done with the self love beauty and Valentine's themes videos. I had one more trick up my sleeve, one last video for you guys, and today's video is how to create a self love and beauty spell jar to basically radiate your best self um, and bring your most beautiful and physical attributes to the forefront to really shine um as the beautiful people that you are so what i'm going to be talking you through today guys is basically my personal um self-love and beauty jar and the ingredients that i use and why i use them um so don't think that any of the ingredients that i use for this video are completely concrete you can switch up and change any ingredients that you would like basically for this video um in whatever it is that you're really wishing to bring in you know what i mean mine is more centered towards really loving myself and believing in myself and um giving that love to myself and being able to shine and recognize that within myself and send it outward so that's basically the purpose of mine um so i'm going to be talking to you guys how to do it i'll also be listing um in the description box my ingredients that i've used so you guys can go and kind of cop the ingredients that i use if you want to kind of do um the same kind of spell as me um and yeah let's just get into the video and i'll show you guys how i make my self-love and beauty spell jars Okay guys, so the first thing that I like to use are these little glass jars. Now, I personally get these jars off Amazon. You can use any type of jars. It doesn't matter how big they are, how small they are. Um, as long as you can fit ingredients in them, that is all good. Um, I personally get these jars off of Amazon because I feel like they're the right size for my more miniature spells. Um, and yeah, I will like link down below where I got these jars from if you guys want to get the same ones as me. I like that they come with these little kind of um, tags on them to kind of write down what the spell is for which is why i get them so going into the spell you really want to look at what ingredients you want to bring in and why what is it that you're really wanting out of your spell um so for example one of the first things that i want to be doing of course this is a self-love jar so i really want to incorporate crystals because i like to work with crystals crystals that help me really connect to my heart chakra and really connect to my defined feminine and there's one crystal that i've always used for that and that is rose quartz so if you guys can see here in my cocktail glass i have a mixture of rose quartz chips and a couple of rosebuds i don't know why but i like to infuse my rose quartz with rosebuds just to kind of help give off that self-love vibe basically um so these crystals were charged on the full moon in leo that we just had so they're ready to go so what i like to do is add these chips into my glass bowl so using this little jug, I will then tip the rose quartz into the jar. I personally prefer larger chips than more miniature ones, just because I just, I don't know why, I just basically like prefer them. A lot of people like to use funnels to do this. If anything, it does help put the ingredients in. But for some reason, sometimes I like to make it harder on myself. So I'm just going to be using this little jar to tip the rose quartz in. Now, when we are tipping the rose quartz in, we want to really be setting the intentions just like we would when we get a new crystal and we kind of infuse that crystal with the intentions of what we would like it to help us with we're going to be doing that with each ingredient into our spell jar so while tipping the rose quartz in we are going to basically be reciting um what it is that we want that rose quartz to help us with so for me i will basically be reciting i am love i am beauty i am confident in my beauty i radiate beauty and i embody love <laughs> It doesn't matter if some of them guys fall out. So as you can see, now that I've cleaned up a little bit of the mess because it always ends up falling out of the sides, I have my rose quartz crystal in the jar. Now the next ingredient I like to use are the Himalayan salts. Now I like these particular salts because they have lotus flower and I really identify with the energy of the lotus. Um, the lotus flower obviously grows in mud and I always really find that a lot of the most beautiful people and a lot of the most beautiful soul missions and souls come from some of the most darkest and challenging times and i feel like i've had to kind of go through a lot of negative experiences to kind of flourish the way that i have and i've always really found that the lotus flowers really represent in my journey and even though i've come from you know situations that may not have been the best i really do feel kind of like the lotus flower has really helped me grow and really connects me to my heart chakra whenever i think of 
that and what my mission is in helping people come out of their darkness and kind of transcend that light so that means a lot so it was just a win-win for me when i saw that these himalayan salts had lotus flower in them and i've been using them for a while now um and when we add himalayan salts in obviously himalayan salts help us detox any negative energies in our body and sometimes we can tend to think negatively of ourselves or some insecurities may crop up so i like to add the himalayan salts in just to kind of um remove any unwanted energies and limiting beliefs that might hold me back so once again guys using the white jug we are going to pour our himalayan salts into the glass and make making sure that we are setting our affirmations as we pour these ingredients in Now the next ingredient I like to use is thyme. The reason that I like to add thyme in is because back in the day, Greek soldiers actually used to put thyme in their bath water to enchant courage. Um, so thyme is really known for helping boldness and confidence. And it can actually also help with any grief. If we have lost somebody or if we are healing part of ourself, this can really help soothe that. So that is why I like to add that because even though we want to radiate self-love and beauty, we want to feel confident in that. You know what I mean? We want to own our beauty and self-confidence is something that I used to lack a lot. And I like to just add time in to really give me that um, courageous kind of flair. So that is why I like to use time. So once again, using your funnel or jar or whatever you're using, even if you're using your hands to place it in, we are going to pour the time in and set our intentions with the time. Now the next ingredient I like to use is rosemary. Now what I love about rosemary is it's such a versatile herb. You can use it for so many things. You can use it for protection, you can use it for healing, you can use it for cleansing, health, vitality, purification or love. And rosemary is sometimes associated with Aphrodite which is the reason that I use it. So I just like to use this not just for love but to really kind of help purify me and remove any unwanted energies or attachments that I may have. So once again guys adding your using your jar your hands your funnel whatever you're using you want to pour your rosemary into the jar again setting your intentions like i said if you make a mess it's par for the course i do it all the time the next ingredient that i like to use is sugar cubes and i basically use sugar cubes for sweetness i usually use brown sugar cubes but i realized when doing this video i didn't have any left which is why i'm using white sugar cubes now the reason that i want to add sweetness to this is because one thing that i'm always told i guess it's maybe my cancer rising i'm always told that i come across very sweet and very loving and although i'm very sweet and loving to others in the past i've had trouble with being so sweet and loving to myself i would usually talk down to myself Myself and being quite negative and I always you know when I set out on my self-love journey I wanted to give myself the same love and respect that I gave everybody else because I would talk down about myself a lot so I like to add sugar cubes in there to really that's my kind of way of giving that sweetness back to myself which is why I like to incorporate these into my spells now I do want to admit the sugar cubes are a little bit too big to kind of fit in these um, little jars because I will say the nozzles are quite small so what I actually end up doing is cutting the sugar cubes just to add in i'll only use a little bit and i'll just kind of add that in set in my intention um while i place that into the jar now the next thing that i like to do guys is script some affirmations onto a piece of paper of what i want this spell to really bring in for me um so just like you would do your morning affirmations you know i am beauty i am love i am confident whatever it is that you're trying to bring in write that down on a piece of paper and you don't even have to write it on a piece of paper you could maybe write it down on a bay leaf and add it in whatever works for you um but i like to write those affirmations on a piece of paper and add them in so that intentions are not only just being spoken out but they are actually inside the jar with the ingredients to help them so i make sure that it's nice and tiny as you can see so that it will fit into the jar and i like to place that in um, basically reciting the affirmations that are already on the piece of paper so placing that in i'll be saying you know i am love i am beauty i am confident in myself um i radiate the ingredient i like to add is cinnamon sticks now cinnamon sticks are known to help prosperity abundance and luck 
and using these with spells really help to push that energy of the spell forward and bring that added energy to really help the spell become more abundant so i like to add cinnamon sticks in just for that little bit of flair of luck so like i said guys the top of the nozzle is quite small and the cinnamon sticks are quite long and they are quite thick so what i have already done is broken up some cinnamon sticks to add into the spell jar so i'll place the cinnamon sticks in just remembering to say my affirmations and why the cinnamon is going into the jar and what it is here to help with Okay, so the next ingredient that I like to use is thistle down. Now, the reason that I like to add thistle down is because back in the day, thistle down was once thought to cure the bubonic plague, and it's usually used in like hex removals, um, love and protection spells. Plant, it's kind of like a plant of protection, is what I was trying to say, um, and it helps protect protect against any negative energy and um, helps bring in joy and strength. And I like to add thistle down because. Obviously, in this 3D world, there are some people that may envy us or may, you know, kind of try and, try and cast the evil eye at us. But, you know, we all have the ability to protect ourselves. And every morning, I like to grab my sage and I like to kind of um, waft the sage around me three times. And while I do that, I like to say any negative words, thoughts and energies that are sent towards me are to be returned to the sender times three. And I say that three times every morning. Um, and what I like to do is add thistle down into the jar while saying those exact same affirmations just to make sure that anybody's evil eye or you know envy or jealousy or anything like that is not hitting me so we are now going to add thistle down if you guys don't know what thistle down is it literally just looks like this um and i just like to pop that in with my hands just try and get that in there obviously you know reciting those affirmations any negative words thoughts and energies that are sent towards me and to be returned to the sender now finally guys that is our spell jar so what you want to do next is add the lid to your jar and what you want to do now is get a pink candle it can be a taper candle it can be a pillar candle whichever you would like i basically use spell candles so for this particular video i've been using a pink candle so what i'm going to do is pop a piece of paper underneath this jar just so that we don't get any candle wax anywhere and what you want to do to kind of solidify the spell to really put that spell out there and close that spell off we want to pour the wax on top of the jar to really kind of close that and activate our spell and if you want to recite any affirmations while doing that you can so you pour the pink wax on top like i said at the start of the video if you don't have the exact ingredients that i have that is okay you can basically use any ingredients that you feel, feel is going to help bring the intentions forward even more um so for example the crystal that i obviously used in this video was rose quartz but you can use any crystals that help the heart chakra so if you want to use malachite or you want to use green aventurine or you want to use some jade or if you're more focusing on self-confidence and you want to use some citrine or some sunstone you can do that um this particular video is um, more like a dry spell i wanted to just focus more on like herbs and ingredients like that but you can always use um some essential oils and add those in um sometimes i like to use this rose cologne you can get this on etsy that's where i get mine from sometimes i will add that in if i'm basing it more on liquid with you can also use moon water or sea water if you would like to you can even incorporate you know different flowers in like park 
poppies or something like that um another thing that people do instead of sugar they use honey um you can also even add in you know some offerings maybe for aphrodite maybe you want to add some apples in or something like that um and as well as writing the intentions on a piece of paper like i said you can you can write those intentions on a bay leaf or you could maybe draw a love sigil and place that in i have done that before but you also want to look at like what do you really define as beautiful you know what i mean do you um do you like aromatherapy be do you like smells you maybe want to add in a squirt of your perfume or you know something that makes you feel really good one of the things that my younger sister likes to do she has like really thick long beautiful hair and that's one of the things that everybody notices first about her so sometimes she likes to cut a small lock of her hair and put it in the spell jar because a lot of people comment on her hair and absolutely love her hair and she wants to feel that way about herself so she adds a little lock of her hair to really put that vibration in so anything that you kind of regard as beauty as love you know whether it's shells it's herbs it's crystals even if it's just like a little ornament or something like that you can place that in um and in regards to when to do this spell i personally do this spell on a friday because obviously friday is the day that is ruled by venus um and that's just the day that i usually do a lot of self love rituals and spells and things like that so that is the day that i usually do these spells but really you can do them on any day whatever suits right for you so guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video i hope it was easy to follow all of the ingredients that i've used are going to be listed in the description box if you have any comments guys write them down in the comment section and i'll be happy to respond to any comments that you have i hope you guys have had a beautiful valentine's day and i hope you've enjoyed my videos this week i'm sending you guys lots of love and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching